diabetes, high blood pressure, a deteriorating spine, gout, anxiety, and the list of medical issues goes on. In district court, former Zonia Mayor Jesse Bloss presents this list along with testimony alleging a lack of treatment, including week-long delays to receive medicine. Additionally, defense counsel Joseph Rosano argues concerns with client counsel visitation limitations during the pandemic. Bloss was indicted in September of last year on 13 counts of bribery for allowing drug trafficking through village mailboxes. In February, he entered a plea agreement and sentencing was pushed back to August 10th. Earlier this week, Chief Judge Francis Tidinko Gatewood denied Bloss's motion for temporary pre-sentence release. However, after today's status conference hearing, that all may be subject to change. As the court stated, quote, we have a problem. I am concerned for his health and safety, but I don't want to assume he's telling the truth because I don't know if he is lying or not, unquote. The court ordered the Department of Corrections to appear for today's hearing. DOC Major Anton Uggen was unable to speak on Bloss's medical history, but did state, quote, I do know he has seen the doctor several times at the clinic, unquote. On behalf of the government, U.S. Assistant Attorney Laura Samataro argued that improper medical treatment becomes a civil matter in which the court doesn't have jurisdiction over. Noting this, Chief Judge reflected back to a similar recent case involving nearly 11 federal detainees represented by the Office of the Federal Public Defender. Chief Judge Tidinko Gatewood stating, quote, We visited this issue when Attorney Gorman, Attorney Lujan, Attorney Kotke triple teamed and basically said it's a hot mess in the Department of Corrections, unquote, resulting in an on-site visit of the Haganya Detention Center, and all parties worked toward a remedy. Likewise, with Bloss's concerns, the court wants to hear from the medical officials on whether or not Bloss is fine and his medical conditions are being properly monitored while in custody. As for the visitation limits due to the pandemic, Chief Judge says this is an emergency situation and that a lot of attorneys have made the same complaint. The court plans to address the matter with the chief marshal to outfit a room for defense attorneys and clients properly, stating that federal funds are available to procure certain necessities, and this is a, quote, top priority, unquote. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Adriana Cotero.